welcome back to Get Even. Let's continue going on in the asylum. Oh yeah, I think we saw that at the end of last episode. Police had a dead end, but I knew the victim, Jasper Prado. What are these? Oh, emails. Sugar email. Hmm. From something to Malware's Bunch. One rotten apple. I talked to Ben and Eric and I thought I made it perfectly clear. The bad apple needs to be removed as soon as possible. We can't take the risk. From secure to needle in the hay. Like I said on the phone, this is delicate. You work for me and you follow my orders. If you can't handle that, I find someone else. No mucking about. It's really cool the amount of detail that they put into the notes. Not just like the writing necessarily, but just the actual uh, making it look like a real thing. I mean, it, like it says print page one of one at the top left and it's got an Earl at the top right. They put a lot of work into making these notes look like real actual notes. And all sorts of like creases and smudges on the paper and coffee rings and stuff like that. It's really cool. Letter of Appreciation. Dear Lieutenant Prado, it is my pleasure and privilege to express my appreciation for your contribution to the success of Operation Grapple. You and the other members of your division did an outstanding job of securing the forward position, setting up and establishing communications and coordinating the movement of follow-on forces. Without your dedication to duty operation, Grapple would not have been the success that it was. Congratulations on a job well done. Colonel William King. Hmm. So Prado actually became a lieutenant. And apparently was damn good at what they did. Official military personnel file on Jasper Prado. Let's see. Well, we know their blood type, A negative. And everything is restricted. You know, I could almost read some of that. You can read a tiny little bit, like number 28. It says like wounds received in action. This place is known as The Shell. It is an abandoned warehouse about half a mile from the gas station on Route 10. It's not a Shell station and probably never was. One local myth suggests it gets its name from the numerous shell casings found in the warehouse over the years. The place certainly looks like it witnessed its fair share of killing. Vicious crime in the warehouse. Three exclamation marks. Serious business. The corpse of a man in his 30s was found in an abandoned warehouse this week, and yet nobody has the slightest clue regarding the victim's true identity. Um, let's see. Let's... I feel like we've read, if not this exact article, then something extremely similar to it. Maybe it's just like a, dis a different newspaper's article on the same thing. Body, don't know who it was, autopsy on Friday, mm-hmm. Yep. Nothing new there. Jess Prado, victim or culprit? First, it was the corpse, a dead body found in the warehouse near Route 10. Now, for the first time, we investigate who he really was. Let's see, uh, blah blah blah, then we learn the victim's name was Jasper Prado. Now, for the first time, we investigate who he really was, an innocent man who was the victim of a psychopath, or a cold-hearted criminal who got what was coming to him. Well, that's a false dichotomy if I've ever seen one. It's not like those are the only two possible options. 
Since being discharged from the military over a decade ago, Prado returned to the country where he immediately began contributing to what would become a substantial criminal record. Just four months before his death, he was arrested for drug possession. Was his death drug related, or did his lifestyle become too much to handle? The police have yet to officially rule out suicide. This is a terrible newspaper article. Brian Scott, you are a terrible reporter. Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. Looks like a chat record. Uh, I've got maybe in meantime. You read it? Yep. What you think? Ain't happy the guy's a snitch. Yeah? I'm not sure about putting him in the ground. If we don't, boss is gonna fucking kill us, and his missus is gonna dance on our graves. I know. Come on, we do this together, mate. Get rid of the problem and forget it. Hmm. Who's the snitch? Am I the snitch? Black or Prado? Is this a conversation between Black and Prado? I don't know. I do wonder about that one part being highlighted, though. His missus is gonna dance on our graves. That combined with the fact that the voice of Red keeps kind of transforming into a kind of higher-pitched, more feminine-sounding voice makes me think that perhaps the person guiding us through all of this is the missus. Maybe. Maybe. No pun intended for the fact that someone's name here is actually maybe. With three M's. Time. You just lost your way, Black, that's all. My reading suggests the majority of that memory remains unexplored. Focus this time. Assume nothing. Explore the memory in full. <laughs> Relax and explore. Very good, Mr. Black. Relax and explore. corner gun again. Okay. This time we don't have the automatic corner gun attachment, though. So our weaponry just keeps changing on a whim. Remember, this is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of exactly what happened. Understood. Ooh. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise against going in guns blazing. But try not to get spotted. Right. New memoir. Yeah, gunfire, but it's just somebody practicing. Oop. Uh. Hold on. Let's switch to the phone on its own, then I think we can zoom in on the memoir. There we go. I may be going insane too. I passed out and had the weirdest dream. What? Oh, wait a sec. So these are all new. This thing does help me recall things. The treatment seems to work. But can these visions be trusted? The other patients don't act sane in the least bit. I may be going insane too. I passed out and had the weirdest dream. I see a bunch of blue markers. Hmm. A way through. They 
you taking a piss or something? Oh my god. Sometimes zooming in just absolutely wrecks my performance. Like, this is perfectly fine, but then as soon as I zoom in... Oh. Okay, now it's fine. Before it was like 5 FPS. Huh. I don't get it. What did Jasper do exactly? Took matters into his own hands is what I heard. Yeah, but what happened? I don't know. Order came from the top. Bring him in at all costs. What about Jared then? Try to stop it, idiot. Too green. Too green. You'll learn. If he ever gets out. Interesting. So it sounds like Prado, trying to take matters into his own hand, have to bring him in. It sounds like they were the one they were talking about in that conversation we saw before. The text conversation. It sounds like maybe they are the leak. Let's see. Four names. Jasper, Wesley, Tafik, and Ahil. And why is there like someone like markered in someone behind Ahil and Jasper? It's weird. Yeah, there's a terrible performance. Weird. You zoom out and back in and then it's fine. Sort of. Now it's bad again. Ooh, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I think I got to go over that little place that I revealed before. Yeah. Don't think they'll see me here. Uh, one slight problem, though. I can't jump. I mean, that's cool. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's clever. Oh, that is so cool. Wheels are in motion. That was from Jasper. Don't think they'll see me? I don't know what their visual range is, because it's certainly a lot bigger than the cone on the minimap shows. You hear about the girl? Kidnapping, that's a bold move right there. Seems a bit much. She's just a girl. You've been around, bruv. You know the score. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting old. Speak for yourself, bruv. So yeah, why was she kidnapped? My leading hypothesis is still that it's because of me. Maybe they're my daughter or somebody related to me. And I stole the prototype and they wanted it back. And that was leverage. One staying, the other one splitting apart. Seems to work from an impressively far range.
wish I could like throw a bottle to distract him or something. I'm so used to kind of like typical stealth mechanics. Oh. Ooh. Looking this way. Okay. Ooh. We're safe for now. Still someone, actually two of them right over here. Something there. Yes. Will that do it though? They're just like right over there. Where am I trying to get? Sector three? Hmm, I don't think so. I hope these bushes are gonna cover me. Who's there? Stop messing about, return to your post. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Unknown contact. Oh. Fire at will. Fuck. Shit. I don't see any way out of this. Yep. Damn, I did so well. I don't know what they expected me to do there. They like set up this little dot thing that you could, you know, reveal what was there and that gave me cover and it looked like it was leading to like, hey, follow no, this. this you can exactly. make it work, but no, I don't, I don't think you can make that work. That person never turns around. Okay, I'm going to try it again, but this time I'm not going to get as close. Oh, I'm really out in the open here, though. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I think we're okay. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Okay, that person is coming around, though. Or someone that's just patrolling around in like a circle here, so I need to hide. Mmm. Hot garbage. Tons of flies. So yeah, they're coming around. Uh, I can't see enough of the map to really see where I'm supposed to go. It does look like there's a blue dot, though, that's like in the building there. So perhaps that's a door. I'm going to try that. Why'd they just disappear from the map? The heck? They're definitely still there. Yeah, there they are. Hmm. Can't see them here, can't see them here. Odd. Was it not that? Wait, wait, wait. Ah. So where am I going? Can I go in here? Ah. Good. 
And I can't close it. Oh, thank God. Ooh. Mr. Black, I think that something is wrong with this memory again. It's becoming highly unstable. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. Hold on, this says there's evidence nearby. I think the best thing to do when you're looking for evidence is to just constantly stare at the phone. It kind of gives you little hints. Do you see how it's the top right border on the phone thing is telling you to like look up here? Yeah, there we go. Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Jasper Prado. Okay, Prado was here. Prado smoked. Is that a bunch of equations? <laughs> it is. Personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board? That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. Talking about a new toy every now and then just sounds like... Well, it reminds me of the... What was it? The Toy Regression Therapy? Talked about? TRT? What could the toys be? I mean, if they're just guns, I don't give a damn. But if there's some sort of a non-lethal... Unlockable thing... That would be extremely nice. So yeah, how are we doing? 84%, 82%, 90%, 96%. Jasper's dying minutes, only 61%. I think we're going to probably come back there though, right? Given that that's the one we just left because it was malfunctioning. 80%, yeah, we're doing pretty good. seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Mm, lots of vantage points to be seen from here. Hoping they go back the way they came, yes. It's 
all I know. Heavy. What is that yellow? Shouldn't I be able to look at it? What? It goes on the side of the screen like I'm supposed to look in that direction. I've, before I thought that indicated somebody sort of saw me, but like... like what? I can never find it. It's always on the side of the screen. And it's moving. What? Who just saw me? Well, they stopped shooting. They're definitely in high alert, though. If I give them a second, though, they should calm down. I do not know how they saw me. And what was up with that yellow thing? Shit. Ah, oh, son of a... Alright, just kill me. Okay, let's try going in through a different point instead of through here. Let's go in maybe over there. Maybe also see if there's anything in here. I mean, there's stairs up, but I probably don't want to be up there, right? someone above us in this direction. Up, oh, right up there, yeah. They probably saw me before. Not that the yellow dot on the corner of my screen helped with that at all. There's someone right through here that's always looking in this direction, so I can't go through there. I think I gotta go through there. Probably the best option. Uh oh Oh, they're going into the other building. Now might be a good time to just run on through, actually. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Wow, I just made it. Ah, oh, damn it, this is in the way. I think I know where I need to go. for them to go back. Now's my opportunity, I think. Possible visual investigating. Shit. Who's there? Stop shit, 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 shit. Don't come up the stairs. False alarm. Oh. Ooh. Well, 
Let's wait till they maybe go to the other building first. Make sure they're completely out of the way. Moving away. Okay, they're good. Okay, should be relatively safe in here. There's just one person that comes in this place. I could just hide behind something. Uh, hmm. Shit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, well. There better be evidence in here, not just garbage. Damn it, just garbage. But yeah, I think I need to go this way. Jared Porter. Arrest record. Speeding, drug possession, possession of explosives in suspicious circumstances. Possession of firearm with a criminal intent. Uh, on the 4th of June, 2015, Jared Porter signed the Severn Police Informant Working Agreement. Oh, so this, oh, so this is the informant. This is the person on the inside. Okay. Uh, ben called me saying we're all fucked. Pigs got Jared and it's only a matter of time. They get the rest of us. Jared came to me and said nothing about being arrested. Acting like nothing happened. When I told him what Ben told me, he said Ben was just tripping. No pigs were onto him. And he just went to London for the day. I'm fucking positive that something's off. And if pigs have Jared on their leash, we can't trust him anymore. Okay, well I think this is a pretty good place to stop. I saw the game just saved. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And when I return, I think we're going to go see Jared Porter.